Good morning, this is Dr. Nick coming to you from the comedy club in Egoli, aka Johannesburg, the place where Comedy Central is hosting their shows and where Trevor Noah every once in a while gives a performance. And uh, the Egoli, the most uh, dynamic. Right. So today I have a question for you, and the question is really what is driving you? As we are approaching the new year, it's really important that you understand what is driving you and there are seven emotivators seven drivers of motivational intelligence that i have studied and been researching for 20 years and i urge you to try and lock into your primary emotivator now let me quickly run through them the first one is assurance to have certainty about the future certainty about your relationship certainty about your value The second one, critically important, especially today, is challenge, which is to have a challenge for yourself, to have a challenging life, to have an exciting life, and not to fall into the death trap of boredom. Remember, boring is the biggest enemy today. If you're boring, you're dead. The third key emotivator is connection, and that means connecting with other human beings connecting face to face, real deep human connection. The fourth emotivator is significance. To feel that what you do makes a difference, that you add value, that you feel significant. Number five, growth. You have to grow. You have to grow yourself, you have to grow spiritually, emotionally, you have to grow your career. Um, and number six is contribution. You have to contribute to the well-being of other human beings somehow. If you don't have contribution in your life, you will feel empty. And ultimately, the probably one of the highest emotivators is higher association. And higher association is really to have a higher purpose, to have meaning in your life. That's why people go to church. And that's really, you need to decipher what is the kind of future you want to build. So, which is your key primary emotivator? Because what you will find is that life is at its zestiest lies it's at is at its most uh, exciting when you lock into and you'll be at your best when you lock into your key emotivator now for me it's connection connection connecting with others is a key driving force in my probably the key the key driving force in my life so what you have to do you first have to i really need you to do two things i need you to study the emotivators on the link below to go through the seven emotivators And understand how each one works in your life. Secondly, I need you to then take the emotivator self-assessment and analyze which is your primary emotivator. Once you've done that, you then need to think about creating a platform, a vehicle, how to activate the primary emotivator. Now, in my life, connection being my primary emotivator, what I've done, what I enjoy, what I love, what's driving me, what's driving my business, is that I have created a platform for connecting with leaders. I have created the futureleadership.com where I go out and interview leaders about their insights into the future. So I connect with them, I meet with them, I interview them, and I build really, really strong relationships for the sake of connecting, for the sake of adding value. And you can see already that there's a number of emotivators that are being satisfied, it certainly gives me assurance, it certainly is a challenge, it obviously is connection, there is significance, I'm growing, I'm contributing. So all of these are really, really important. So please make time to decipher your primary motivator and think about which vehicle can you set up to lock into that motivator because that will be your greatest source of success your single most important source of success. This is literally the science of success. So this is Dr. Nick from the Comedy Club in Egoli, the city of gold. And I hope to see you here sometime soon in 2018.